Big, big win today, boys. Big, big win. Had to start the season strong. We had to get a good performance. We had to get the W. We got that plus way more. I actually was predicting 6 0 for United. <laughs> yeah. Serious. Because I feel like this season, actually, I even thought like we should have won it last season. It was mentality that cost us it last season, especially against Brighton and the two games towards the end. Yeah. It was like they didn't want to play for the, for the W. Whereas now they've gone to the Euros, they've gone on to uh, uh, South America and whatever the World Cups are. And they've come back and they've known that, listen, we played for our country, we felt that love for our country, and we lost in the Europa final. I think they've taken that and turned it into a big positive, got killer signings in, and then taking that to the next level. I think this is our season. I literally think we're winning it this See, season. What of this one game you've seen enough, you're like, it's we're going to win? It's not even of the game. If you look at how we've been building the last two, three seasons under Oli, um, it's like you're seeing the mentality to positive going up and up and up. And like, even when Fergie had it, we had options and now we've got the options. Like even with a Varane, we actually can go to a back three fully, a fully back three. And then you can just, we've got so many attacking midfielders. We're literally, even though we, we all want a defensive mid, we've got that much attacking power now. It's like, it's scary, it's fearful. It's like when uh, Fergie won the last season. It was literally it was just we. Our defense was rubbish that season. Our defensive middle was rubbish that season, and we were just attacking. Oh, he went and got Van Persie that season, didn't he? He was the best striker at the time, and then he just made it happen. Um, your man saying, "I've seen enough." I've, well, uh, overall, I think this is our year, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Do you agree with that, or are you a little bit more reserved? Yeah, I mean, we made a big statement today, uh, scoring five-one. Yeah, so yeah, I think uh, going forward we should push, but uh, it's gonna be like. Right to the end, like mm. come May. So I said December-ish, Christmas time, see, see where, where we are yeah. and points. So we need to be consistent, not like draw games. That's what we was lacking last season, drawing too many games. Mm. We lost to Sheffield United, which we should have not done. That which which was a turning point, I would say, in yeah, the was. season. Then we started drawing against Everton last minute, they scored. It's just well, you got to bring us back there. <laughs> no, but it's true though, it's true. Yeah, yes. true. Going forward, like we score goals, but Defensive, that's why we've got Varane, so Varane's uh, officially announced today, yeah. which is good. The atmosphere was rocking today, my vo voice is gone, I was sat in Stratford End. <laughs> that, that, that 10 minutes from 50, 60, like jumping up How and down. How good was it to be back, man? Yeah, that, really first, that first goal uh, that Bruno scored, I mean, we, we were threatening. Paul Pogba was through with a chance. Yeah. Mason Greenwood had a snapshot from outside, but we were getting chances, getting chances, yeah. slowly probing. Leeds were looking okay as well, yeah. but we were probing. Um, but that first roar of, of, of the 1 0 at Bruno. I think the first roar was when Varane came out. <laughs> <laughs> when Varan came out and they announced yeah. him fully at number 19, I was like, that raw, I've still got goosebumps yeah. from today, I've still got goosebumps. But like that first goal, it's just like, that's it, we're here. It's like, welcome back, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. We're back in the game now and that's it. That's and in terms it. of the players, who impressed you the most? Because there was a lot of standout performances today. I think <sighs> Scott McComney, man, he's just... He's getting a lot of praise today. He's almost like he's yeah. kind of going under the carpet, but he low-key was very good today. He was, man. I think if you just watch how, especially with Scott, since how he's been improving over the season. And even if you take it back when he versus England, he had all those four play, four England players around him and he was yeah. like holding him and you're thinking, this is our player here. Yeah. So what he's playing for Scotland and the Euros, but he's coming back to United and he, if he's doing stuff like that, bullying people, protecting the board, and he's got the support around him. You got Bruno, you got, you got Pogba around him. And now you got Varane and Maguire backing him up in case he makes a mistake. It's like, the, the holes are being covered right now and it's just like the pressure on the opposing team is so high now, I think. One player we haven't even spoke about, but obviously he didn't yeah. start the game, Jaden Sancho. Um, that, the game was obviously dead and buried yeah. by the time he came on. Um, a little cheeky little nutmeg from him there, I think it was. He, that's, that's what he's about. But how excited are you to see him fit into this team? I'm really excited to see him. Uh, he showed us today, like when he came in the last uh, 20 minutes, showed some tricks and that going forward is really good. Um, you need to start off a uh, full game. So Where does it. he play for you? Like, obviously, Rashford's out. Yeah, Martial needs to get some fitness. Dan James is on the right hand side. Greenwood is up front at the moment because there's no Cavani. Where, where would you look to start getting Sancho involved? I would say start him on the left, then um, make a substitution, bring Martial or uh, Dan James off, or then yeah. swap him around. So, either way, so the second half, left hand side, starting yeah. off, then going to right, right hand side, going second half. Yeah. With, probably going for, uh, better going forward for him. Uh, to finish off, I'll come to you and I'll come to you second. Uh, man of the match, who was it and why? 
obviously Papa with those assists, you know, what can you say? But uh, he's finally starting to show his craft and I think obviously what's happened in the press previously and that it is what it is. But I think if you're just going to turn up to your games, then you're, you're answering the questions that need to be answered. It's the best thing for Pogba, isn't it? If you're not going to sign right now, get your head down, give us great performances and then just see how it goes. Who was your man of the match? I would say Bruno. Uh, no penalties today. <laughs> no uh, penalties. All these haters. <laughs> three, the haters three. in the match. Yeah, we got three today. So going forward, I'd say him scoring more goals. Yeah. At least 20, 21, at least. Not without penalties, but yeah. including some penalties in there. But yeah.